down 14 points. Oh, down 16 points. Down 19 points in the last three days. Oh, man. Dodgers don't start hitting that ball, they're going to lose it. All right now. Hello, nephew. How you doing? How you doing, Anthony? Well, there he is. He's yeah. all yours. All right. I don't need it. I told you, Darrow, a ring boy at every wedding always gets a haircut. Your Uncle Chester's getting a haircut. Yeah, and I'm just an usher. I still say I don't want a haircut. Now, is he going to be a bother to you? Because if he's going to be a bother, I'll take him myself. No, 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 Amber. He will not be a bother, and you have things to do. Well, all right. Now, the wedding is 7.30. Yes, ma'am. I'll meet you back here at 7. Now, you'll both be ready. We will be ready at 7 o'clock. We will be haircutted. We will be showered. And after showered, we will be as clean as a chitlin New Year's Eve. Oh, Chester, you are my favorite yeah, nephew. Thank you. Well, ta-ta. 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 Here we go. Hey, babe. Hey, how you doing, Sam? What are you doing cutting hair? I got my license this morning, man. Well, what happened to the other barber, Old Red? Didn't you hear? Old Red married an undertaker's widow. She took him into business. Yeah, best job in the world for Old Red. And I have nobody to interrupt his jokes. Uh. <laughs> No, you can't read that. Read the sports magazine. You're next, right? I tell you, I ain't too sure about this dude. Thought I'd watch a few more haircuts first. Uh. Next. It's all yours. size and then keep the top kind of flat. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You want the uh, Hollywood, the Duke, the Stevie Wonder? No, no, I don't want no Stevie Wonder, man. Just do what I ask you. Take it off the top and flat on the top. Uh, you the boss. You the boss. Hey. Are you sure you know how to cut hair, man? Are you serious? Hey, not only was I tops in my barber college, but in Korea, I cut 40 heads an hour. You was in Korea? Yeah, infantry, 7th division. Korea was nothing. World War II was the war. Cottons, don't make me mad now. Don't tell me Korea was nothing. You heard me. Nothing. Uh, nothing? You don't know what cold is like until you've been in Korea. Cold? I'm talking about fighting. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Listen, I think you're taking too much off of the back, JJ. Okay, wait, wait, but you don't think there was fighting in Korea? Korea? I am talking about the World War. Korea didn't even have a number, and this man is talking to me about Korea. Well, you don't know what real fighting is till you stand eyeball to eyeball against the hunt. Look, don't make me mad, Cotton. Don't make me mad, because I was there, you hear? Now don't make it mad, Cotton. Anybody want to buy any Ray Charles record? Hey, fellas, didn't I say stay out of here? How about huh? some B.B. King? Hey, look, man, don't be bothering my customers. Look, oh. J.J., this is a fitness transaction. Oh, Red, never mind. Hey, look, don't make me mad. This is my shop, and I say stay out. Hey, man, well, how's about a little afternoon period? We're running a special. Yeah. Normally six ninety eight. Today, only $2 each. And we eat the tax. Come <laughs> on, out, fellas. Out and out. Huh? Hey, J.J., watch what you're doing, will you, please? Well, who's the barber here? That's a good question. Battle of the Bulge. The Ardennes. The Sicily campaign. That was war. And what about Inchon and the Battle of the Yalu River, huh? Do me a favor. Just watch the comb, man. 
Uh, you in the Korean War? Yes, I was. Well, a... tell them about Incheon. Well, I, I was stationed in Minneapolis at the time. Uh, you know, of course, Minneapolis is cold. A lot of guys got frostbite in Minneapolis. Hey, man, you know you're gonna be completely bald in five years. What are you talking about? Yeah. You've been getting away with it so far, but it's gonna catch up with you. You don't know what you're talking about. Hand to hand combat. That was World War II. And hand to hand combat was considered rest and recreation in Korea. <laughs> where, where am I going, Bob? Yeah, right back here. It's working its way over. <laughs> yeah, it's what we barbers call the typical male baldness pattern, you know? You know what I think, don't you? I don't even think you was in the Korean War. That's what I think. Hey, now, you really make me mad now. How much of your money you want to lose betting I wasn't in Korea? I got $23 right here that says prove it. Oh, now, you really made me mad, old man. Look, you're on for $23. Where are you going now? I'm going home to get my discharge papers and my theater of operations ribbons. No, no, no. Wait, 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 come in. Wait, wait. First of all, you have to finish cutting my hair, then you're going to cut my nephew's hair. Battle citations. How you gonna have battle citations when there wasn't no battle? Oh, let me go. Let come me on, go. Come on, come on. Oh, you, he made me mad. Yeah, huh? You're making me mad. Now, come on. Anybody want to buy some genuine Mexican pottery? $15.98. But we were guilty of only $8.98. I told you guys. Maybe you like something in a smaller size. How would you like that, beauty? $3.50. And we eat the tax. When you get out of here... <laughs> How's that? That bad? I thought you said it was a ball spot coming in back here. Man, that's how you can tell it's a good haircut. Now for the shave. I don't need a shave, man. And JJ special introductory offer, no charge. Yeah, but see, JJ, I can yeah, shave man. at home. Ah. I can get a shave at home, see? What I do is I just shave my... Son! Yeah! Hot enough for you? Oh, yeah. Oh. Nothing like a good, close, clean shave with a sharp razor. I'm not fussy about a close shave, JJ. Uh, yeah. uh, Watch what you're doing now. Oh, what? It's nothing, man. Nothing. No, I know nothing, man. What? I've said oak before, and I know what oak means. Yeah, now, okay. what did you say? Huh? Don't make me mad, Cottons. Now, don't make me mad now. Oh, Cottons. Don't make him mad. Yeah. You don't know anything. Well, listen, look, don't tell me about baseball catchers. Roy Campanella was the greatest catcher in baseball. That's what you saw. But you didn't see Josh Gibson of the Kansas City Monarchs, greatest black team ever. And not only was Josh Gibson the greatest catcher, he was the greatest hitter, too. Ain't that right? Yeah, well, I never saw Josh Gibson, but my father told me he saw Josh Gibson hit a ball 614 feet. That's right. You tell him. That's right. Josh Gibson hit a ball 614 feet. Roy Campanella's batting average was 327. And that wasn't in Sandlot games. That was the major leagues. <laughs> but now, wait a minute, J.J. The Kansas City Monarchs were no girls' softball team. That's right. In their day, the Kansas City Monarchs were so good, they were afraid to let them in the major leagues. That's how good the Kansas City Monarchs were. Listen, you're going to tell me that some dude that didn't face big league pitching was better than Roy Campanella, who was the most valuable player three times? Josh Gibson was tough, baby. He had a lifetime batting average of 389. And he did something that no one in Major League Baseball ever did before or ever did since. What was that? He just caught a ball dropped from the top of the Washington Monument, that's all. Knocked him off his feet, blacked out both his eyes, but he still held on to the ball. That's how tough Josh Gibson was. Oh, man, that was just a stunt. Now, anybody could catch a ball off the Washington Monument. You think you could? I know I could. Look, I caught semi-pro. You drop a ball off the Washington Monument, and I'll go catch it for you. You jive, turkey. Hey, don't make me mad. Now, wait a minute, J.J., See, a ball dropped from the Washington Monument has the same velocity of a bullet coming out of a rifle, and you ain't gonna catch it. I'm talking about baseball, and this cat's talking about velocity. The Washington Monument is 600 feet. 
Yeah. You give me a day without wind, a glove, a baseball, and the Washington Monument, and I'll do the same thing Josh Gibson did. You only saying that because you know, and I knows, and he knows that we are 3,000 miles from the Washington Monument. Hey, are you calling me what I think you calling me? That's right. I got to go with cartons, J.J. Fact, you so jive, you couldn't catch a ball drop from the top of the Ames Hotel. And that ain't even 400 feet. Yeah, how much of your money you want to lose betting me that I couldn't catch a ball drop from the top of the Ames Hotel, huh? I got the same $23 right here. And I got $8. You can add that. <laughs> well, you're on and you're on. Let's go. I'm with you. Let's go. Uncle Jack. Yes. He didn't finish my haircut. Well, don't worry. I can't go to the wedding like this. Don't worry about weddings. History's being made there. Let's go. But my mom. Come on. We're going. Hey. Come on. Checking into the hotel? Yes, we are. Well, if you drive around the front, they'll take your luggage. Uh, we don't have much luggage. And we'll only be in there about 10 minutes. That'll be a dollar. That should be just about right. Come on, let's go, Daryl. I'll wait in the car. No, Daryl, you get out of the car now. People laugh at my head. Nobody's going to laugh at your head now. Get out. We have important things to do. I want to talk to you. What is it, JJ? I'm, I'm very busy. Hey, look, we want a room up high. Who does? We do, all of us. What for? Oh, Ru Rudy, it's a long story. You let JJ save you? Yeah, how'd you know? I recognize his work. Uh, we only need the room for about 10 minutes. There are no rooms, they're all filled. Uh, there's a key in 1212. They went out, but they'll be back. Man, give us the key. You trying to get me fired? Hey, Rudy, you know me, and I won't get you fired. No. Hey, Rudy, this is really important. No! Hey, look, we're family, right? You married my sister, right? So give us the room for 10 minutes. You can't put your job above your family. Yeah, my mama, your mother-in-law, could just as easily be living with you as with me, right? Here's the key. Hey, look, what if they come back? Call us on the phone. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going with all that baseball stuff? Accept this window. Good enough. There we go. Uncle Chet, yeah. where's the bathroom? Uh, the bathroom is uh, uh, somewhere around here. You, uh... Yeah, there's no way you're going to catch a ball from this height. Are you so wrong? It's pitiful, you know? You get your chance, JJ. All right, now, who's going to throw the ball? I'll throw the ball. Oh, right. You mean you're going to drop the ball? Yes, he will drop the ball, and I will wait on the ground to make sure that JJ catches it before we get our money. Agree. Right, let's go. Uncle Chet. What are you doing with your clothes off? I'm going to take a shower. What are you going to take a shower for? I got hair all down my back from the haircut. No, no, you go in and put your clothes on and keep them on and stay up here with Mr. Cartons. Cartons, don't let him take his clothes off anymore. Go ahead. Don't let him take his clothes off. Oh, what's wrong? I forgot something. 
Well, you should have remembered that before you put on the chest protector. No, no, I forgot to tell Cartons that I need a warm up. No, warm up is not in it, man. Not in the bed, no. No, I need at least one warm up. I bet Josh Gibson had a warm up. Give, give me 12 12. What are you doing? Shh, man, I'm on the phone. The cartons? Yeah, yeah, H hold on. <clears> oh, <throat> cartons? Yeah, listen, JJ says he wants a warm up. You can't stay in here like this? Carton says you can't have a warm up. Well, tell him I need at least one warm up. He says he needs at least one warm up, cartons. Carton says if you get a warm up, then the bet's off. Well, you tell him that I'll beat him without a warm up. Yeah, Cartons, did you hear that? Yeah, I'm really mad. I'm really hopped up, stomped up mad. What's happening here? What are you doing? JJ wanted a warm up. Carton said no. A warm up? You ready, JJ? I'm ready. Okay. Uh, which window is it? Uh, there he is. Hi. Okay. Okay. Now, if you're ready. ready. He missed it. He missed it. You broke my windshield. Me? You broke my windshield. Hey, let's get something straight. That throw didn't count. What do you mean it didn't count? You broke my windshield. It was an illegal throw, and he's got to throw it again. Well, who's going to pay for my windshield? I Man, you're insured, right? No, I'm not insured from a ball thrown from the Ames Hotel. Well, Cotton should pay for it, because he threw it. Cottons! Uh, 12-12. What room, please? 12-12. 12-12? One, two, one, two. Keys? Keys. I'm sorry, I can't give you the keys. Oh, we send them out every day this time to be polished. <laughs> uh, now, may I have the key? Excuse me one moment. Hello? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. We're testing our phones, they don't ring. May I have my key? Well, why don't you go have dinner? I don't want to have dinner, I want the key. What's going on here? Maybe, uh, I think I do have a duplicate. Please. Excuse me, Rudy. Operator? Yes, Mrs. Edmonds' room, please. Hello, Edna. I'm in the lobby. Somebody's going to pay for my windshield. I know I'm not even insured against some man dropping a ball through the windshield of my car. That fool. I told him I needed a warm up. He needed the warm up. I'll go right up there. I want to say, Gardner, you better pay for this thing, man. <laughs> Well, where do you want to eat? Well, that would be fine. How long? About ten minutes? Five minutes? Well, hurry, please, because I'm famished. Cottons! You broke my windshield! Okay, JJ, pay off. You no. lose. Lose? I lose? Are you out of your mind? Did you, you catch it? If you threw the ball to me, I'd catch it. I you... threw it to you. You missed it. Oh, what are you talking about? It was a bad throw. Ask Chet. Yes, it was a bad throw. You broke my windshield with a okay, bad throw. Okay, we'll do it again. And this time, Chet will throw the ball. And I'll be right down there to watch you Who's miss it. Who's going to pay for my windshield? Uh, the loser pays for Chet's windshield. All right. I'll You're wrong. What the? You people are in our room. Well, uh, well look, uh, I know it looks a little strange, but let me ask you something. Do you like baseball? I'm calling the manager. Well, let's see. Give me the manager. Sir, see, well, yeah, see, well, the whole thing is, you just, 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 just to give us a chance to catch a ball like Josh Gibson. Like manager. Hello? 
from the why three pitches. You understand? And I was going to catch the ball from the window. They were scared to let me do it down from the window. Hello? You mean to tell me he's going to catch a ball from that window? Yes, sir. That's a good 400 feet. Yes, sir. Ray, would you ask these men to leave? If I say I can do it, I can do it. I'll bet you $20. Ray. Well, if I was single, I'd bet you. But I still say I don't think you can do it. Look, I can do it. And don't make me mad. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take the ball, since this is your room, and drop it, and we'll see if J.J. can catch it. You throw it from the window. You mean miss the ball. All right, miss the ball. Catch the ball. Come on, don't make me mad. Now, let's go. Here is it. Uh, also, this is Daryl. Now, don't let Daryl take his clothes off, no matter how itchy he gets. All right, here we go. How you doing? What's going on? I'm going to throw the ball. Which window is it? There he is. Come on, let him go. In. He dropped it. I caught it. Then I dropped it. You never caught it. What you talking about? Are you blind? I held it for the regulation three seconds. You have to hold it ten seconds. Hey, look, don't make me mad, Cartons, now. I held it for the regulation three seconds. I got $23 here since ten look, seconds. Look, don't make me mad, Cartons. Hey, comb and cut, man. Just don't cut and comb. Yeah, but take some off the sides, too. Hey. I'm telling you, J.J., the rule says you've got to hold the ball for ten seconds. Look, I don't want to hear nothing about no rules, huh? Well, take some off the top there, Chet. Anybody want to buy a couch? Real box. Only for the $7.95. And we need to tax. Get out! Out! Oh. Now, where was I? All right. Ten seconds, you know. Okay. Ten seconds. Nine. Nine. You got to hold the ball. Perfect. But Uncle Chip, I have to take this hat off sometime. Well, you take it off when you get in the church. What happens when I walk down the aisle? Well, nobody's gonna pay any attention to you. They'll all be watching the bride. Are you sure? Oh, listen, have I ever lied to you? Yes, sir. Daryl, you in there? Here we go. Come on. My, oh my, don't you both look nice? My two handsome escorts. Uh, Aunt B, we better get going now. Oh, well, we've got plenty of time. Daryl, take off your hat. I want to see your haircut. Uh, <clears throat> the traffic on the freeway is awfully fast. Well, well now you hold it. Huh? Daryl, take off your hat. Well, he doesn't have to take it off, because, see, I've already seen it, and it's a goodie. Yes, indeed. <gasps> yeah. <clears throat> who, who did that to you? Uh, the new barber. Chester, get me the scissors. Daryl, sit down. Let me see what I can do with this. Now, what new bob are you talking about? Me. <laughs> you? Yes, ma'am. I've never seen such a mess. Well, then, it doesn't look all that bad, A.B. Well, I, I see, the barber, he hurt his hand, so I had to take over, and I don't think it looks so bad. Not so bad. Just have you lost your mind? Well, you know, I mean, it, it, it just looks a little uneven. It's a mess. If you keep the hat on, I mean, nobody will notice. Nobody will notice it. Do you want a bet? Uh, please, don't say bet. Whatever you say, don't say bet. See, I just tried to do the best I could with the situation being what... Chester, will you be quiet? I'm disappointed in you. Some uh, rabble dragons. 
and some renal cycle, put them in a pot and wait for a rise. And a half pound of renal and a half pound of grass, stir them up in the solids and. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, babe. Hey. Um, what are you doing cutting hair? I got my license this morning, man. Well, what happened to the other barber, Old Red? Didn't you hear? Old Red married an undertaker's widow. She took him into business. Yeah, best job in the world for Old Red. And I have nobody to interrupt his jokes. Uh. <laughs> no, you can't read that. Read the sports magazine. <clears throat> You're next, right? I tell you, I ain't too sure about this dude. Uh, yeah, and I'm just an usher. I still say I don't want a haircut. Now, is he going to be a bother to you? Because if he's going to be a bother, I'll take him myself. No, 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 Amber. He will not be a bother, and you have things to do. Well, all right. Now, the wedding is 7.30. Yes, ma'am. I'll meet you back here at 7. Now, you'll both be ready. We will be ready at 7 o'clock. We will be haircutted. We will be showered and after showered. We will be as clean as a chitlin' New Year's Eve. Oh, Chester, you are my favorite yes, nephew. Thank you. Well, ta-ta. Ta-ta. Here we go. <laughs> Take a little off the size and then keep the top kind of flat. Hey, wait you. a minute, wait a minute. You want the uh, Hollywood, the Duke, the Stevie Wonder? No, no, I don't want no Stevie Wonder, man. Just do what I ask you. Take it off the top and flat on the top. Uh, you the boss. You the boss. Hey. Mm. Down 14 points. Mm. Down 16 points. Down 19 points in the last three days. Oh, man. Dodgers don't start hitting that ball, they're gonna lose it. All right now. Hello, nephew. How you doing, doing Andrew? Well, there he is. He's yeah. all yours. All right. I don't need a haircut. I told you, Darrell, a ring boy at every wedding always gets a haircut. Your Uncle Chester's getting a haircut. Thought I'd watch a few more haircuts first. Uh. Next. It's all yours. <laughs> 